Hey, it's me again. Cleaned up a little bit. So there's that. Got my hair in my I don't care mood. <laughs> At least it looks a little bit better than the rat's nest I woke up with. So, um, I said I was going to start a blog, so I'm going to. Or whatever it's called. Um, I wrote my first book in 2019. Started in really late 2017. Um, the, the name of the book is uh, White Noise. And it's spelled W-I-G-H-T rather than the color white. You're welcome to go look it up um, if you're not sure what a white is. And uh, so white noise monsters in the static. And there's a reason for that uh, particular title. So the book takes place. Uh, <laughs> it actually takes place uh, in my childhood. I think I was either between like 13 or 14, somewhere around that range. I have kept a journal since I was around 12. I still journal and I'm 29. Still have all my journals from back then. Um, I don't know if you journal or not, but if you don't, I highly recommend it, especially if you just like to write. Um, it really helps with kind of putting thoughts down, especially when you want to talk about something, but you don't really want to talk to anyone else about it. Um, that can be very, very beneficial. But I just had a hummingbird come by. So the book takes place and it's actually a book about myself. Um, a lot of people who have read it have asked, you know, what, where did this story come from? You know, what gave you this idea? Um, I had always wanted to write a book that was on my bucket list. And I had an extremely hard period in my life in uh, summer of 2017. I was, I was right to near mentally crippled. And for those who don't know me intimately, and not bisexually, I mean intimately, like really know me, um, I do have a very unique uh, mental disorder. I still function. I'm not dangerous. Um, nothing of that nature. It's it's all inward, and I might talk about it. On another video perhaps a little bit more in depth but have a very unique um, disorder where um, I have perception issues and that's a little bit hard to talk about but again I'll talk about it on one of my other videos if I can keep making these um, but I wrote the book because the first start of it was I, st I was having nightmares about um, something that had traumatically impacted my life back in my teen years. And I've been doing fine with it for the longest, but whatever triggered the, the dream triggered a lot of other things to, to happen during those times. And so I kept having these reoccurring dreams that weren't always the same. But the premises around it was typically the same. And I was starting to be out of touch with reality. And let me tell you, I have no idea how I was able to work full time and be a full-time mom outside of work while going through that. It was a very, very difficult time in my life. So I used the book as an outlet to not only try to face those traumas, but to 
also have an outlet in a way. So my first book is literally an outlet. And I took the book off of Amazon. That's where I originally published it. I want to say in like January of 2019. I've taken it down since then because I wanted to do edits. Um, obviously it's late 2021. Um, but doing those edits are e extremely hard and I don't want to send myself spiraling back into a dark place again. So I do those edits very little at a time that way that that doesn't happen. And the reason I wanted to make those edits is because it was my first book. You know, there's, I've had a lot more experience writing since then. So I wanted to actually give readers a more enjoyable experience when reading it after having more experience writing. So the delivery being a lot more smooth for lack of a better word and so once I finally get it get those edits done I would really like to put it back on Amazon that way everybody can read it um, a couple of people or not a couple but a few people who have read it um, mainly females that have read it so far I did have one male read it uh, out of its entirety but the females who are also mothers, they said it really gave them a unique inside look at a teenager's mind, which I was a teenager during those periods whenever um, the time that I was writing in the book, those, those memories. Um, and it's not just a typical teenage life and I'm not saying that I'm a, I'm a special person in any way that's not what I'm trying to convey but it was a unique situation very unique situation that I have not seen occur or ever heard of occurring before I'm sure it's out there it's just I personally haven't came across it um, but because of the disorder that I had that I was not aware of, unfortunately, I made things a lot more intense. And things weren't always what they seemed. Um, being, being in like a floating state of going into reality and then back out, back in, and then back out like a almost like in the that stage of sleep where you can hear and you can see things going on but you're also beginning to dream it kind of was one of those ordeals and that's the reason why I wrote the book um, I had a lot of people ask me figured why not go ahead and let people know even though it's been years since people have asked me you know what what inspired you to write the book I wouldn't say inspired for my first book it's it's documented grief basically it's based on a true story and I tried to make it as tried to convey it as much as I could to people who don't have the same type of mind that I do and again, I'm not saying I'm special or unique, but I perceive things in a very unusual way. So, when I get it back up, hopefully I'll be able to share it. Um, really need to pick this up because I'm really bad at this right now. <laughs> you can tell I look around a lot and that doesn't mean I'm lying, I'm thinking. And also looking at my birds, because I love birds. But. Um, I wrote a second book the male that had read my first book there was one character in it that they really liked um, her name was Josie and so I wrote a book about her so that second one it's still online uh, the adventures of Josie um, it's, it's a lot more short it's 
nothing around the, what the first book was. Um, this one is more of a thriller comedy drama. <laughs> um, so if you want to check that out, you're welcome to. It's You're going to have to read it with an open mind. <laughs> I am actually on my third book right now, though, um, which I'm truly enjoying. It's uh, it's a book of short horror stories, and then this last story that I'm putting in it uh, called The Continental Divide. I'm still working on that one. Um, not going to share what it's about yet, but the name should give you an idea. So the book itself that has all these little stories in it is going to be called The Land of Reaping. Um, it's all fiction, so no nonfiction in here. Um, I'm really excited to release it soon. Hopefully I'll get it done before the end of the year, but probably not. I wonder if I can move the camera so you can see this woodpecker. Can you see him? He's on the bird feeder up there. He's on the back portion. Do you see him peeking? Yep, there he, oh, I see he's peeking. Anyway, so if you want to know his name, if you want to know his name, I named him Woody, of course, Woody Woodpecker because that's so generic. But that was Woody, guys. <laughs> um, yeah. Hopefully I'll write a little bit more video, whatever. But thanks for watching my really crappy first videos. <laughs> Hope to get some more posted soon. And, uh, wish me luck. Today's Monday. So going back to work. Thanks for watching, guys.